section is on database management system. Here we are discussing few topics from the chapter one. The topic discussed in this video session is accessing database from application from chapter one database application. In this slide, we are discussing about accessing database from application and types of accessing database from application. Let's begin with accessing database from application. What does the accessing database from application? The SQL commands can be executed from within a program in the host language such as C or Java. The use of SQL command within the host language program is called as embedded SQL. We can develop any application by using C or Java. Java in order to establish a connection to the database, we need to execute an SQL commands. To execute an SQL commands, we are making use of host language programming which has been embedded in the SQL. There are different types of existing database from the application. First one is embedded SQL, second one is cursor, third one is dynamic SQL. In this slide, we are explaining about embedded SQL. What embedded SQL defines? The use of SQL commands within the host language program is called embedded SQL. The host language program can be either C or Java, which can be used for developing an application. Once the application has been developed, in order to establish a connection to the database, here the embedded SQL has been used to fetch the data or to perform operation on the database. There are different language constraints available in embedded SQL. The first construct is uh, connecting to the database, declaring the variables and statements. Whenever you want to connect between Java application and the database, we'll use a syntax called exec SQL connect, execute SQL connect, which is used to connect the database from the host programming language. And second one is declaring the variable. Whenever you want to declare the variables, then we'll use execute SQL begin declare section and after declaring the variable, it should be end with execute SQL end declaration section. The next constant is statements. To execute an SQL statement, we'll use syntax called execute SQL statement. Any SQL queries can going to be get executed by using an exec. How to declare the variables and exception which have been embedded in SQL within the host language program. To declare the variable and exception, exception, the SQL statement can refer to a variable defined in the host program. Such host language variable must be prefixed by a colon in SQL statement and be declared between the command execute ex SQL begin declaration section and execute SQL end declaration section. Let us see the syntax of declaring the variable. The syntax for declaring the variable is execute ex SQL begin declaration section. Within that, we are going to declare the variables and then it should be end with an execute SQL end declaration section. See the, for example, I want to declare the variables such as C student name, C student ID, C rating, C age with the initial C used as a naming conventional to emphasize that these are the host language variable. How to create? Then to create to declare the variable, the syntax was given execute SQL begin declaration section. The C is a prefix for emphasizing that this is a host language variable. Such a variable name is S name, S student ID, C rating, and C age. These are the four variables which can be used to, which are being used to declare the variables. In this slide, we are discussing about embedded SQL statement. In a previous slide, we have discussed how the variables are declared. Once the variable has been declared, next step is we need to execute an SQL statement. In order to execute an SQL statement, we will make use of embedded SQL statement in the host programming language. Now, what does that embedded SQL statements do? 
the SQL statement embedded within the host program must be prefixed by execute SQL. The syntax for embedded SQL statement is given as execute SQL followed by SQL statement, whereas SQL statement can be any SQL queries such as DDL, DML, and DCL. For example, I want to insert a value to the table seller with the use of embedded SQL statement. The syntax, syntax is given as follows. Execute SQL followed by insert into seller values, whereas S name, S ID, C rating, is which has already declared the variable using, using SQL begin declaration section and SQL and declaration section where C is going to emphasize that that these are the host language variable. Once this question statement has completed, after executing the SQL, the values are going to be inserted into the table seller. In this slide, we are discussing about cursor, which is an, uh, another type of accessing a database from application. Let us see what the cursor does. Can declare a cursor on relation or any query statement which generates a relation. With the help of a cursor, we can repeatedly fetch the tuple, then move the cursor until all the tuples have been retrieved. The cursor can also use special clause called order by in the queries that are accessed through a cursor to control the order in which tuples are written. The field in order by clause must also appear in select clause. The order by clause which orders answer tuple is only allowed in the context of cursor. The cursor can also use to modify or delete the tuples which is pointed by the cursor. For example, I want to find the name and age of the seller specified by assigning a value to the host variable CID. Then I need to go for embedded SQL statement syntax that is execute SQL and select S, S name, S age into, into and S name, age are the variable declared where C is say that emphasizing the host programming language from the seller where SID should be equal to CSID. In this example, the into clause allows to assign the column of single answer row to the variable C name and CS. Therefore, we do not need a cursor to embed this query in the host language program. Let us take another example. Select S name S age from seller where S rating is greater than C underscore minimum rating where the C underscore minimum rating is indicate that this is a variable which has been declared using the an host program embedded variable declaration in host programming language. Once execute this query, I will select the name and age of all the sellers with rating greater than the current value of the host variable C min rating. This query returns the collection of row, not just one row. If we embedded this query in a C program by prefixing the command with execute SQL and the answer cannot be born to the host language variable. The into class is inadvocate because we must deal with several row. The solution is to use the cursor. The solution to the example 2 is that we have to make use of a cursor in order to fetch the S name and age from the seller where S rating should be greater than C, main C minimum rating. To do this, to overcome the problem of previous example, we will make use of a cursor. In order to declare the cursor, we will use declare S info is a cursor name, cursor we are creating for this query, the what the query has seen in the previous. The select S name age from seller where S rating should be greater than C 
minimum rating. Once this query has been executed, we are going to get once this query has been executed, then we are going to get the output which is going to uh, which, with the several rows based on the condition satisfied. In example two, I am going to get only one row. Once the query has been executed, I need to fetch the value. In order to fetch the value, fetch the first row from the table cursor table info info the fetch commands are used the fetch command to read the first row of cursor from the table into the host language variable this is an example to fetch the information which from the cursor which has been executed in the previous in the, in the above example that is fetch the name of the cursor into class the name and age i am going to retrieve the values based on their condition satisfied in this slide uh, we will see the declaration of the cursor declare followed by name of the cursor followed by insensitive followed by scroll followed by cursor we are creating with a hold for some query sql query statement then order by and for read only or for update whereas insensitive says suppose if more than one person is performing an operation with a database, if it was an insensitive, then if you make any changes in an application programming, that does not get affected with the database due to the insensitive. Whereas scroll can be the cursor can move forward as well as a backward direction of the table. And for read only, we can fetch uh, uh, we can fetch the data from the database or for update we can update the or we can manipulate the database for example i want to update the rating from the seller table then we are going to make use of an update table this is a simple sql query and when you want to delete the data delete the rows from the table then we'll make use of an delete query this is a simple between this we need to follow the cursor name okay then we'll see how to update the information to the cursor here uh, s info is the name of the cursor which has been created in the previous video slide okay we need to update the s rating to the cursor table so the query used as update name of the table and set rating is equal to new rating where current information which are available in the cursor table same thing i want to delete the uh, information from the uh, cursor table then i'm going to make use of a delete is a seller table where the current information of cursor table this s information is in current uh, s information is in cursor name of name of the okay, in this slide uh, we are discussing about uh, dynamic sql which is an uh, third type for uh, accessing the database from application we'll see how dynamic sqls are used for accessing uh, database from application here sql is a programming technique that enables to execute sql statement dynamically at runtime and sql provides two main commands in order to execute sql statement dynamically at runtime they are prepare and execute the prepare is a command which is used to prepare the an sql statement which is going to compile and then run the query then execute is the one which is going to execute the command which has been prepared by the prepare command let us take an example i want to delete a data from seller table whose rating is greater than 5 then here let us, we have created the one variable c underscore sql string which is going to hold the sql query for deleting the or deleting a value from the seller whose rating is greater than 5 then this query has been initialized to the variable c underscore sql string then i'm going to prepare prepare a in second line i'm going to make use of a prepare command which is used to compile the sql command which has been passed through the end c underscore sql string the syntax was execute sql prepare ready to go from which query i want to compile then once the query has been compiled now i need to execute the 
query in order to execute the query i'm making use of command called execute that is execute ex execute sql execute ready to go the ready to go is a variable which is pointing to the cs sql string a cs sql string is a character variable which is holding the sql query in this the first statement declares the c variable such as c underscore sql string and initialize it values to the string representation of sql command whereas second statement result is the is this string being parsed and compiled as an sql command with the resulting executable bond to the sql variable ready to go that's third statement execute the command okay for enter slide uh, we are referred a few textbook and the web resource the textbook are fundamentals of database system from navate and database management system from raghu ramakrishna and the uh, few web resources we are referred that is geek for geek beginners books dot com tutorials point gateway with the ally and tutorials willing dot com these are the reference which have been referred for the all the explanation thank you